After rescuing two bear cubs who had lost their mother, an older woman didn't anticipate adopting them as pets. However, after spending years together, she contemplated returning them to the wilderness where they rightfully belonged. Despite this, the bears surprisingly demonstrated their suitability as pets when she faced a difficult situation. Born and raised in Texas, Bonnie Hart spent her entire life there and was widely recognized by the locals as a courageous and resilient woman. Although she had lost her husband several years ago, she adamantly refused to leave the home that they had constructed together due to the cherished memories it contained. Known as Granny to the locals, she was a formidable figure who worked as a truck driver for several decades and excelled at her job. Despite her children warning her that she was getting too old to spend hours behind, the woman loved her job so much that she refused to quit. Bonnie was recognized for her remarkable toughness, friendly nature, and affection for animals. This led to her frequently visit the nearby veterinary clinic, where she would bring in various wounded creatures she had rescued every week. Her dog Billy, a German schnauzer she stumbled upon years ago while on a truck delivery, was particularly adored among her numerous rescued companions. The canine was severely wounded and appeared to have been stranded by the roadside for several days before Bonnie discovered it. After rescuing the dog, she immediately transported it to the nearby veterinary clinic, where it was given the necessary medical attention. Fortunately, the dog fully recovered, thanks to the veterinarian's efforts. To fully recuperate, the dog required ample time to rest, and Bonnie willingly offered to take him in. Since then, they have become inseparable and developed a close bond as best friends. While in her kitchen one afternoon, Bonnie was startled by an enthusiastic bark emanating from her backyard. Upon inspecting the source of the commotion through the window, she was taken aback to discover that her dog, Billy, had brought along two unexpected visitors. Approaching the house with his new friends, Bonnie was surprised they were not dogs, as she had initially assumed, but two young bear cubs. Without hesitation, Bonnie dashed through the back door for a better view, but it became indisputably clear that the two animals accompanying Billy were indeed bears. Filled with fear for her safety and that of her beloved pet, Bonnie quickly reached for her phone and dialed the local animal rescue for assistance. Being familiar with bear cubs, she understood that a protective mother bear was likely in the vicinity and acted accordingly to ensure her and Billy's safety. Billy and his new companion seemed unperturbed by the situation, happily frolicking together in Bonnie's backyard. As she remained on the phone with the animal rescue, Bonnie watched the animals intently without interfering, as she was wary of startling them. Truthfully, she felt lost on how to proceed, unsure of what actions to take. Although they appeared innocent, the cubs were stillborn and bore scratches on their bodies. They had a challenging couple of days as they were covered in dirt, giving off an impression of complete harmlessness. The animal rescue officials informed her over the phone that the cubs were probably those of the grizzly bear that had been trapped a few days prior. Regrettably, the mother bear had not off her leg and perished due to the bleeding before assistance could arrive. Since bears were exceptionally uncommon in that locality, her demise was considered a great tragedy. They recommended that the person bring their dog indoors and remain there until the bear cubs left. The little bears posed no real threat and seemed unlikely to provoke a confrontation. Bonnie knew that if they were to return to the forest, their chances of survival were slim. Being small, exhausted, and weak, they appeared to have gone days without a meal. As she watched the cubs, her heart ached at the thought of them being orphaned without their mother. She worried about them returning to the forest and becoming prey to predators. Determined to help them, she took on the responsibility of raising them. The first task was to get them cleaned up, but she was pleasantly surprised that they didn't give her any trouble when she tentatively stepped onto the lawn with a hose. To her surprise, the cubs and her dog enjoyed being sprayed with water. It was almost as if it was a playful game to them. Bonnie had a fair idea of what cubs liked to eat from her hunting expeditions with Joshua, so she quickly prepared a mixture of softened puppy food and fish. She served it in a bowl, and the bears cautiously approached the meal. However, they took little time to devour the food hungrily. An uncommon companionship began that afternoon between a woman, her canine, and a duo of bear cubs. Over time, the bears, dubbed Bam Bam and Pebbles by Bonnie, 
became an integral part of her family. Though Bonnie was known for taking in numerous strays, the addition of bears was an entirely different realm. Despite Bonnie's affection for the bear cubs and her strong sense of guardianship towards them, she was fully aware of their inherent danger as wild animals. The cubs often frolic in the backyard, playfully scaling trees and reveling in their youthful energy. However, Bonnie remained vigilant as she did not trust them to avoid chasing anyone who happened to pass by. Thus, she kept a watchful eye on them at all times. Although Billy attempted to keep pace with them, he wouldn't stand a chance against them in a dangerous scenario. The cubs had lived with Bonnie for roughly four years, and during that time, they had matured into adult bears that appeared quite frightening to numerous people. Several months prior, Billy had tragically succumbed to cancer, leaving only Bonnie and the bears. Despite her attachment to the animals, the older woman understood that she had to prepare them for life in the wild and let them go soon. One day, when Bonnie returned from a lengthy truck delivery, she wasn't feeling her best. Despite this, she was eager to continue her evening routine, assuming her weariness was due to fatigue. Unaware of a difficult and dangerous situation within her body, the woman remained oblivious. Despite waking up the next morning feeling no improvement from the night before, she proceeded with her day as per usual. During the afternoon, Bonnie and the bears were in each other's company in the backyard. Bonnie sat comfortably in her favorite lounge chair on the porch, knitting while observing the bears as they frolicked, climbing trees and engaging in playful shoves. Little did she know the dreadful events that would transpire just a few hours later. After a while, Bonnie rose from her seat and went inside to rest, still plagued by her unwellness. However, after taking only a few steps toward the house, she suddenly collapsed and hit the floor violently. The two bears immediately dashed to Bonnie's side and attempted to awaken her by nudging her. Realizing their efforts were in vain as she remained unresponsive, they resorted to an extraordinary act. One bear, Bam Bam, swiftly hurried over to the neighbor's house with whom she was familiar, while Pebbles dutifully stood guard by Bonnie's side, continually nudging her. Fortuitously, Mr. Miller, the neighbor, happened to be home and about to leave when he heard loud noises coming from his yard. Upon recognizing that the sound as that of a bear, he was initially terrified, fearing that his neighbor's pets had gone feral and were about to attack. As Mr. Miller exited his door to confront the noise source, he found Bam Bam restlessly pacing. It became evident that she wanted him to follow her. When she saw that she had captured the human's attention, the bear promptly turned around and sprinted back towards Bonnie's home. With a moment of hesitation, Mr. Miller followed Bam Bam. Trailing behind the bear, he arrived at Bonnie's home and found her lying unconscious on the floor, with Pebbles watching her. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, he promptly called 911 for immediate assistance. Shortly after, the paramedics arrived and transported the elderly woman to the hospital. Bonnie received treatment there for about a week, and upon her return home, the bears had to be restrained from almost overwhelming her with their affectionate embrace. Mr. Miller informed Bonnie that he was able to arrive in time to call for help because of the bears. The elderly woman was taken aback by their dedication and resolved to keep them for as long as possible. After all, the bears had become her beloved pets by that point. What do you think of this incredible story? Let us know in the comments section below. See you next time. Bye for now.